it's true. Sophie says that it's because I bath her. I do pull the burrs off of her fur. I'm the one that trims her hair and brushes her hair and keeps her clean, puts ear drops in her ears. I do all the yucky stuff and Sam just gives her timbits. Just gives her a donut every day. But last night, she left bed. I fell asleep. She went downstairs and laid with Sam. Laid with Sam until he went to bed and then he brought her to bed and she went to bed. Tell the truth, Sam. Are you trying to steal my dog? No. No, I'm not. <laughs> Do you like- She has to be more than a one person dog. Do you like my dog? No. <laughs> really? Why? <laughs> you play with her all like the time. I like big dogs. I like big dogs. All right, for a little dog, do you like her? Um, a little bit. She barks too much. A little bit. Don't listen to him. She's amazing. So it's true. It's hard that she's a one-person dog. It's hard with her being a one-person dog because she absolutely does like freak out. She doesn't freak out like get all ups. Well, she pees on my seat if I leave the car and I leave her in here, or she like runs the house crazy if I leave and go outside without her. She does best in her crate if I leave her, but she needs to get used to it. It's just all a part of learning. She has to get used to it. Anyway, we're headed to the sales barn. Today, we're gonna try and wheel and deal the chicken guy. We have three chickens that we bought from him and they don't lay. One is old, one is weird, and the other one I think is a baby. So we brought two of them, the old one and the weird one, um, back with us and we're gonna try and see if he'll take them back. And then we're gonna try and replace them because I don't want to put my numbers up too high. I don't want to get too many chickens. So we're gonna try and give them back the two that we don't want and get two others that we do want. So we have Polish or Silkies. Yeah, we really want Polish or Silkies. If they had a Silky rooster and only a rooster, I'd still get it. No, we won't because I don't want to have two roosters. Roosters are issue or have issues. No, remember right. Spot? He he was scared of everything. I know, but we're gonna have we're gonna we're breeding baby Silkies. Yeah, but we aren't gonna keep roosters. Well, keep a rooster, yeah. Chicken guy is here. He wasn't here last week. Sophie's excited. I'm excited. He said he was going to bring silkies for us and save them for us. Okay, let go of my arm. You're coming with me. Yes. Give me your other arm. Okay, hold on. Oh, we got bunnies. They're cute. And ducks. <laughs> and chickens. And they got the silkies, but they're all roosters. They're really cute. Do you guys see why we love them? They're all roosters, though. No, we're not getting him. You like the little one? <laughs> He's maybe a baby. Oh, okay. I love them. I'm not getting a silky rooster. They're the friendliest roosters. You remember Spot? And you want the, you want the, oh you want the little one in the back? I don't want another rooster. Okay, so we traded the chickens, but we didn't get a chicken because Sophie wants a silky so bad. And we have 24 in the incubator, but it's going to be a long time before they hatch. And I don't want to buy another rooster. They only have roosters. There's like 10 roosters there, and I love silkies. And it's a good idea to get a roosty, a, roost, a silky rooster because then they're not like the same breed as the ones, like they're not related to the ones that we're going to have because she wants to breed silkies. I tried to get her to get a red sex link. I don't know why we didn't get a red sex link because they lay well. they're ugly. I know, they're ugly. We were trying to be really selective this year with our chickens. So we took back the two that we didn't love and that aren't laying. And we're gonna go back next week and hope for some silkies. It's cold today, you guys. Today and tomorrow is supposed to be cold. Well, hello. Hello, Mr. Man. Oh my goodness. I love reading your comments because they always teach me like so much, so many things. Somebody said today, like how amazing that Gracie is getting an opportunity to control somebody like Tito. I know how I got your dog to catch her and put her in her cage. How? I said, you gotta go outside and she went running to the door. Aww. I've been I was trying like, to teach her that. Gracie, Hi. settle down. Look at, they're all muddy again. Hi guys! How wheels? I'm just gonna check on Penny and make sure she's okay. Last night I came down to do nut check and checked on her to make sure that she was okay. I'm pretty sure, like, did you guys see her shivering yesterday? I'm pretty sure she was just cold. But I'm always on the lookout. I'm like, oh, I didn't wear the right shoes. Hi, Pen! Why are you rolling? Oh my goodness! Huh. The wind is blowing, but she's okay. I think she could use even a warmer blanket, to be honest. I think you're 
okay, even though you're muddy. Honey baby, come on. Honey baby. So, yes. we have been, we have been loving the new camera system in the barn. I watch it a hundred times a day. Now having put Chino in with the herd, I've been able to watch. I saw Chino uh, eating out of the same pile. Oh, Gabby, you should put him in and let him have some hay. We put Chino in and let him have more hay. Like we feed him more because he's bigger. He needs more than what the baby, what the ponies get. But I saw him eating hay with the baby, both of them sharing hay. And then I also saw him and Willow kissing this morning today. I saw him and. Is that what you were talking to us about? Yeah. We couldn't hear you. Yeah, he kisses Willow. Willow tries to look all like cool, calm, cool, and collected when we're all down here. But I swear to God, she is a hussy. She loves him. She's a what? She's a hussy. <laughs> Your horse is a hussy. Okay. So anyways, back to cleaning. I'm trying to honestly get all this stuff done by the weekend because we have crazy plans. Um, I found a pink grooming brush. Put it with our pink set. But I'm super proud of my shelf all clean. It is too cold to stay in the barn today and work. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these three buckets up to the house and sort through them and reminisce and go down memory lane. I love that, you guys. I actually love like going through our stuff, finding stuff that we've lost, but we wanna have like a big, huge yard sale soon, an equestrian yard sale. And I think most of the stuff that we're gonna get rid of is right there. I'm taking my pet there. for a walk. You're taking your pet for a walk? She hit me in the teeth. Oh, be careful. Yeah, I did. I went like that. People who say that girls don't wrestle, she that's a me. joke. They do. All right, come on, come on. Re respect and protect the Gabby, Sophie. Protect and respect the Gabby. Oh, she kicks me. Re protect and respect the Sophie. Okay, come on, get over here. Everybody pick a bucket. All right, I'll take this one. All right, you take this one, we you just, take that one. Wait, don't even we're, empty it? No, we're gonna take the whole thing up to the house and we're gonna do this while where it's warm and finally like get it done. How, look how nice it looks without this. But before we go up, whoa, I'm actually gonna put Penny's warmer blanket on. I just feel nervous. You should put Chino's warmer blanket on too. The mini chooses me. She chooses me. Come on, honey. Look at her. Come on. She chose me, Sophia. Come on, honey. She chose me. Thank she chose me. Come on, honey. Honey chose me. Honey chose me. Look at her. She chose me. Yeah, see? See? Gracie. Go. Or get attacked. Yeah, that's. Ooh. Okay, how slow do you have to be? Okay, a five minute long video of mom putting on a blanket the wrong way. You know you're putting it on wrong. The front strap should be done up first. Okay. No one else does. I can do that too. All right, Sophie took Willow's neck piece off. I put it on her last night. Sophie, you're gonna have to get Willow's neck piece back on. It's getting cold now. It's getting closer to nighttime and I want them warm for night. Do you think Gracie needs a blanket? Honey definitely doesn't need a blanket. Let's see, is she? Uh, can you put her blanket on please? We bring Chino in in the afternoon to give him a little break from the mares and to feed him lunch because we want him to eat more than, like he's the low man on the, in the herd so we want him to like be able to get enough food it's cold i'm not the kind of person oh it's so warm in here i'm not the kind of person that can like throw a bunch of horses in a herd and then say fight it out or like hopefully everybody gets fed i have to make sure all of them get as much food as they need i know most people do that but when we were learning about horses i saw like a lot of it's freezing. It's so cold. What's the temperature? It says five degrees. It says five degrees. The wind and stuff is probably. It is cold. I can't carry All right. one of those. We have to carry it. Oh, I got mine. No, that was mine. <laughs> no, it's mine. Oh, I got the broken one. It's the heavy one. 
Oh, and with no lid. Right. I got it. That's why God gave me hips. We're eating out today because nobody wants to cook. So eating out is like a rotisserie chicken from the grocery store and Caesar salad. So that is dinner and Sam bought some wraps. Yeah, so I'm making a He's making chicken. a chicken Caesar, Caesar salad wrap. wrap. And I'm just gonna have plain chicken and plain Kitty, salad. Kitty, do you want that? Look, come on. Go on, get it. Look, look, Ellie. Hold on, I got it. She barely even fits. Go in. You're too fat. Go in. She's like, I do not like it. <laughs> She's like, where's the treat? All right, so uh, we are gonna take up Hold this whole husband. section of floor and we're gonna dump, we're each gonna dump our bucket and we're gonna go through it and I'll show you guys anything that's exciting. And we're gonna watch Stitch. We're gonna watch a movie while we do it. Yeah, Stitch. Might as well have one last day of winter because it's gonna get warm again this weekend. And our girls were little and they rode, they had to have a vest. Like, if they were gonna jump, they had to have a vest. There was no if, and, or buts. It was only when they got older that they didn't have to have a butt, this, a vest. This thing was 300 bucks and it's just sitting in a bucket. But then I was thinking like, nobody wears vests anymore. Like, I hardly ever see vests anymore. Anyway, I think I'm gonna sell it. This was Gabby's, it probably still fits her. It's a size 32 youth. She basically wears all the same sizes that she used to wear. And then I have two more over there that were Sophie. I have a bear bat, a bear back pad that I'm going to sell. I might actually keep one of these for Brooklyn to wear. But the other thing is, is that soon it's gonna be mandatory for like bigger shows for everybody to wear a vest, but it's a different kind of vest. So even if um, my girls start wearing vests again, it'll be a different kind of vest and we'll have to get like, a more expensive one. I'll get Brooklyn to try them on this weekend and then see which one fits her. All right, empty bucket, you guys. It has taken us hours, it's dark now, but this is all I have left. I threw a ton out, I threw a bunch of stuff in the wash to be washed. That is all of our yard sale stuff. Except for that red thing. That's it. That's, it. Yeah, that's it though. <laughs> Out of all that, that's all we have. Um, and then this stuff is just like our, our bits and stuff. The hardest part that I'm having going through is all this leather stuff. I'm gonna get it all clean. We're gonna sort it and figure out what we need. But how does this happen? How do you get so much stuff that you don't even know? What like you, you, you don't even know what you have. Like, do, Gabby, do you know what this is? It's a halter. Who's halter? Um, so he's got my baby. She, we, you found a squeaky mouse in one of the buckets. Yeah. And she was playing with that. She loves it. She's been dragging it all around the house. I know. It's so She's annoying. obsessed with it. Because the one thing she can actually squeak is so annoying. I'm keeping these useless flowers. No, we need those. Those are good for jumps. I'm keeping them to desensitize honey, even though she doesn't care about a thing. Yeah, she really doesn't. I know. I put that red thing on her that honey, I mean, that Ellie doesn't like. And she didn't even care. She wore it as a hat. All right. So I'm going to pack this stuff up. Sam and Gabby are going to go do chores. I'm going to go and edit. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that